So today we're catching up with State Controller Tom DiNapoli, and what are you working on and what's on your mind? Well, we have a lot going on as always in the controller's office. We're doing the uh, uh, finishing touches on our uh, analysis of the enacted uh, budget. Uh, that was a very important process this year. Uh, but uh, there are some risks, of course, out there, and we identify that as part of the process. We're continuing to monitor very closely the uh, revenue coming in and the spending going out. Uh, we're still in a tough time uh, with our economy, and that has an impact on the budget. We're uh, certainly looking towards uh, the end of session to promote uh, various initiatives uh, that we'd like to see the legislature act on. We just put out a reform proposal related to LDCs, local development corporations, and we're going to be trying to make the pitch once again that if it's going to be ethics reform this year, as I expect there will be, and there should be, uh, that campaign finance reform and public financing of campaigns, starting with the controller's office, uh, needs to be an important part of uh, ethics, ethics reform. So we have a lot of audits going on, a lot of reports going on, and uh, as always, it's busy in the controller's office. And what's not really working for you right now in New York City politics, state politics, local politics? What are you concerned about right now? Well, you know, I think everybody has the great concern of um, seeing that our citizens are engaged in the process. Uh, this democracy uh, for our state, for our city, only works when people have information about the issues and are uh, stepping up to the plate to be involved. And one of, uh, I feel, my great responsibilities as a state controller uh, is through our website, through our Open Book New York initiative, uh, to be sure that we're empowering citizens with the kind of information that will enable them to feel they're a part of uh, making decisions. That's very important as we go through this very tough economic time where we're having to make choices about spending and about priorities. So citizen engagement is something I think we all need to do a better job of encouraging. Thank you so much for catching up with us. Thank you.